utilize calcium. So really, parathyroid, real essential for you, that's depression. But we go over here to panic attacks and anxiety, we're taking you to another place, we're driving down to the adrenals now. But this is where the causative place is, the adrenals and kidneys, backing up this gigantic sewer system here. And this is what you see here. Here's a good case for you to see all the connecting links here. So the anxiety, again, adrenals, some social anxiety, well, that's all adrenals affecting your nervous system, your autonomic and affecting your emotions and how you interact with people emotionally. So you'll be able to strengthen yourself up there, really get on to that. Uh, and appreciate your comments here all the while, uh, uh, Yasmin. But take off and uh, um, really hit yourself. You'll be okay, Sue. Uh, uh, Maryland 200, 207 Hendrix. We got some good cases today, don't we? We got some good cases, guys. Some really good cases. Not, not, not to. Uh, to, to uh, downplay any of these. These are very serious cases, but they're good cases for you to learn with. And I appreciate you guys allowing us to discuss your cases because in school you have to understand I can I, we're going to talk about cases. There's nothing shameful about cases. This is this is an educational channel. This is a, or at least a, the our site is, and this is this is for you guys to learn how you deal with these things because I want you all to be practitioners. When you pull yourself through these things, then you can help anybody else pull themselves through anything. That's the beauty of this. So you all are doing great. You all are really doing great. Uh, the the momentum is growing. The power we're 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 generating is is growing. I love that. This is uh. Uh, Thelia, I think, uh, 303, I'll say. Uh, let me see. Uh, when my mother was in her early 20s, I think I read it, before marriage and childbearing, she was giving a series of radiation treatments for adult acne. Yeah, I remember all these uh, chemotherapy for acne. Chemotherapy for acne. I mean, this is, this is insanity. Personally, I think she was a victim of the radiation experiments that a few Canadian hospitals did for the U.S. military. Oh, let me take a minute and puke. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just tired of being on an ignorant, close-minded, constipated planet. That's why you all like plants and uh, animals better than you like your fellow man. I've never seen such low consciousness ever before. I've just never seen that. The human, when they went down into the, uh, or up into the northern climates eating dead food, it, it stagnated their brain development. Even her oncologist was a flabbergasted at her receiving radiation for acne. No kidding. I would be too. One me I've seen one medical doctor freak out from what his comrades did, but I do that. I see what some nature paths recommend, and I freak out. When a nature path recommends protein diets, high protein diets, turn in your degree and go home. You're not a nature path. That's not naturopathy. Never was, never has been. That's medical thinking, and you went to a medical naturopathic school. So now she got a acute uh, a leukemia decades later. I think allopathic should be forced to take same treatment. So do I. Well, get rid of the leukemia. If she's still alive. Leukemia is not difficult to get rid of. So really get that leukemia out of her. I mean, you're going to do it. Listen to this site here, 303, and uh, get that out of her. Uh, if she's still still here with us, and um, clean her up. Get to clean up the spleen, clean up the liver, get into the bone marrow, build up the bone marrow in her. Uh, I mean, chemo destroys bone marrow, spleen. I mean, look at what happens when you're on chemo. You lose your platelets. Your red blood cells go down. Your white blood cells go down. I mean, uh, oh. Whew. Ah, here's Mr. Crap. Simplicity. No crap. All right, my hazel eyes are gradually becoming blue again. Yeah! Good man. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, wait a minute. I thought the eyes didn't change. Remember that? You guys are going to be at the top of the mountain, you guys. Top of the mountain. Uh, I have, yeah, I addressed most of these. Okay. Feedback on something about number two. I'm loving your videos. Thank you for your help. Let's see here. Uh, Helen, uh, let me see what's going on here. When we get, I think my bowels are pretty clear. This is not really a movement. Uh, these stomach and bowel formula. Someone asked me about rise and shine. I know that guy. He was at my last uh, detox class uh, last year, matter of fact. 
and he's a good guy. Got a little trap though with using herbs. He, you know, I only use organic herbs. No matter how big you get as an herb company, you demand uh, and know where your herbs come from, and uh, I always do. And they've got to be organic sources, wild crafted if you can, and uh, from as, as as within the same country as possible. So poor guy got in some uh, some problems there with the chompers and stuff, but. Uh, I don't care whose program if it's really good. Uh, my issue is don't don't always use laxative type herbs. They're they're addictive. Uh, my form is clean the mucoid plaque. Mucoid plaque is relatively simple and easy to clean off the bowel wall. Generally speaking, ours will make your stool black or you'll get them in pieces. Either way, um, I don't use. I mean, I do use some bentonite charcoal that's in our GI broom but I put a lot of astringents in there. The ultimate goal for me is it's easy to clean the bowel wall off. There's the GI tract, the small and large intestines. It's easy to do that. It's not difficult. The real issue is in the wall. That's interstitial lymphatic constipation. That is a lot more serious. This is where most of the IBSs are, the cancers are, the polyps come from. Everything comes from with where the cells are and the two fluids are. So that that's really what my formulas are designed to help draw that's why I do lymphatic one capsules by the way to help draw to help pull the lymph system through the wall and that's where you want to see mucus in your stools even raw foods will help you do that when you start to see mucus in your stools you know your walls cleaning in the walls cleaning and that's really key there boy Am I so behind? I don't know. I could be here hours. <laughs> Thank you for all your comments, uh, Doug, uh, Duggar uh, 4U777. Oh, and let's see, man. Uh... <laughs> I tell you what, it's unique. I've had a lot of people want to do this. But uh, when they start working at these levels, uh, sometimes you've got to be strong and uh, compassionate, loving, and, uh, and be strong spiritually because uh, everybody coming to you is sick. They're in serious trouble. Look at what we went over today already, and my heart goes out to every one of them. But I know at the same time that every one of these people that ask me, and every one of you guys, you've got to walk the walk yourselves. I'll be happy to walk with you. But you've got to make the walk yourself. I'll be happy to share whatever knowledge I've learned in my clinicals and my work. Uh, I do this as an educational purpose because I want you to power up with knowledge and get, get and learn. Don't be fooled anymore. Don't walk with fear. Fear base is not uh, not the way to live life anymore, and we've got to lose that kind of thinking here. Control people by fear. That's bad karma. So it is a bit. It is a bit issue. That's why I do things and. To, to release that. Uh, let me see here. Raw. Let's see. Thanks for all your work. Your oh, thanks. Uh, appreciate that. Raw. Uh, after first Iron Odyssey movie, I looked to my eye and they slowly changed color from brown to something what looks like green. Well, it's either if you have brown in there, that's chronic lymph. I mean, if you have any green in the eye, that's a blue eye, man. So. Uh, you know, that shows you have chronic lymph problems unless it's orange, and orange is sulfur. So you'll see some waxing and waning of the colors uh, as a daily lymph movement, but you've got a lot of lymph ahead of you, so really head at it. Generally, in an eye like this, the brown's going to be more around the pupil than anywhere else, and of course, that's going to be uh, your GI tract. Uh, Debbie U, let's see. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, thank you so much for your comment. Uh, Appreciate it. You're a sweet uh, lady yourself. Is that you? Good looking woman. Uh, thanks, Miss Sweet, uh, sweet P.S. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love you guys. You're just, I love your comments. It helps us here with, keeps our energy up. And thanks like this one here. Big hugs from the UK. Hugs back to you from the States. Uh, prank 808. Um, let me see here. Need some advice on a couple of things. First, stretch marks. Well, 
you know, again, the more acidic you are, the more the scarring, the stretch marks, the adhesions start to develop in the weakness. When skin is stretched or, or, or damaged in any way, then the ability to heal that correct, that is compromised. That's why you see everybody using oils and everything that deals with healing. Grapeseed oil, coconut oil. But too, this is an internal problem. Really want to move your lymph system, get your kidneys going and your adrenals up, and really get on the raw. And, and they, those stretch marks should as much as possible go away. Um, you know, it depends what level you're at and how much you work. I have been plagued with it all my life. I have been overweight. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, keep working with your uh, with your uh, your lymph system. Work on your adrenals. Here's the overweightness again, going back to your adrenals again, and that lymph and the acidosis. Uh, I would also uh, pick up on my parathyroid gland, make sure I'm utilizing calcium sufficiency for, for some repair and connective tissue there. So I would be doing that. I've been told that MSM helps all. Oh, I mean, just start looking at lo, uh, the, the latest uh, commercials on these beauty healthcare products. I've been mentioning this. Even the medical doctor laughed about that yesterday about uh, uh, sulfur being abrasive. And so this is what you're seeing. So what was one day, and this is why I don't get into things. I keep it simple, pure, and natural, and powerful. Because outside of that, you get caught into these MSM, glucosamines, and all these things like this. One day and the next day, we find something negative. I don't ride that ride, not worth it, a uh, waste of money, does not cure it anyway. You, it's more of a systemic issue, get in your body there uh, um, and take care of it that way, uh, sweetheart. Uh, get away from sulfurs. Um, but I would definitely make sure that my, uh, and the, the uh, uh, bones, uh, uh, capsule formula, but I make sure my parathyroid, my fingernails are strong. I, you know, look at all your connective tissue issues and make sure you're strong there. Wouldn't hurt to pop that up anyway. At the same time, again, move your lymph, get your adrenals up and going. That'll, that'll help you to metabolize sugars better, better for the weight. Let me see here. Uh, second question is regarding my mom who caught a deadly strain of E. coli in 96. It was the 1507 strain. She was in intensive care for a week and they removed some of her bowel. Oh, removed some of her bowel during a biopsy as they, she had bowel cancer at first. Oh my God. Once they worked out what it was, uh, they gave her massive amounts of peptide for the pain. She was told that the E. coli would always remain in her gut. What? And there was no way to get rid of it, and it could flare up again in the future. Since contracting a coli or jetching is poor, she falls to sleep after heavy meals and is always catching colds, flus, and bugs. Guess what her problem is? Culturing medium. Think of culturing medium when you're thinking of bacteriums or whatever. Think of culturing medium here. And so uh, this is obvious. She's loaded. Her lymph system's backed up. She has weak kidneys. But look at you. You're fighting your overweight, you're fighting your adrenals, you're fighting your kidneys here. And look at your mom. This is where you got it. Of course, her lymph system's backed up in the wall of her gut, no question here. You'd want to check her parathyroid so she doesn't get too many adhesions or scar tissue from this surgery. And uh, get on the Parasite M and G capsules. And that'll take that care of that E. coli. And uh, I would just keep her on it for a couple of months. At the same time, I'd get aggressive. I'd do lymphatic one capsules, stomach and bowel, whatever capsules. I would definitely do lymphatic four, let's say at first, two kidney formulas. And uh, really take off on her. And that'll clean her out and she'll be in good shape. Uh, let me see, I went over that. Uh, that, 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 okay. Cherokee Indians out of Oklahoma. Yeah, pretty cool stuff, huh? I love the Native Americans. I mean, geez.